Hello everyone, welcome to the Jewish Week Online. Jewish music has evolved, and for the better. Back in the day, all there was was really Uncle Moshe and the Mitzvah Men. But now, there's a whole new level of Jewish music. We had the opportunity to meet the Groggers, a new Jewish punk band. They're releasing their new album, There's No I in Cherem. Let's check out their new song, Upper West Side. Just won't cut it with its upper class hypocrisy. Don't even get me started on the five towns, what a tragedy. And I wish there was a place where the sun shines every day. I wanna move to the upper west side and find a pretty girl and never make her my bride. So what's the Suck me in and never spit me out again I am vacuum sealed, breathing 30 year old estrogen And I feel so cool, it's like I'm hanging with the cast of friends And if I'm dreaming, don't pinch me, hope this never ends Time's not slipping away And we'll always be the same To the Upper West Side Every morning I'm like a shame Cause I have to spend the night But I don't need no kids I got a PhD in life We've all given up For the Upper West Side We're here with the Groggers, and your music is really unique. Tell us a little bit about how you got started. Um, really, we wanted to do something different in the Jewish world that hadn't been seen before. We really saw a lot of talented, talented musicians. Um, really, really, uh, really, they just kind of closed themselves off to the wider public by by keeping themselves very, very. Um, simple and at the same time we've seen a lot of secular music and musicians that we know who are extremely talented but are completely unaccessible to the Jewish population. So what we wanted to do is create a nice combination between powerful melodies and very very creative and smart lyrics packaged together with our Jewish heritage for both for both audiences. And how does your Jewishness play into your music? Um, I mean, we're obviously very proud to be Jewish um, and, and embrace it a tremendous amount. We, we all grew up in, in uh, religious homes and went to yeshiva. Um, and that's, that's completely 100% reflected in our lyrics. All of our content is very Jewish. It's all about, it's all about uh, growing up you know, in, a, in, in, a, in a Jewish home. And, and by Jewish, I don't mean, you know, I, I don't want to categorize it as Orthodox, Reform, Conservative. It's sort of a broad, a broad we're covering a broad spectrum of, uh, of Judaism within our, our music, but it's very Jewish. 
What are some of your musical influences? Uh, I grew up listening to a lot of a lot of punk bands and, and grunge bands. I listened to a lot of Green Day and Nirvana um, back in the 90s. Aria. I'm basically wearing my influences <laughs> right now. I say basically every article of clothing I have is, um, is it's advertising for my influences. I come from a much harder rock uh, genre, but we really do have a very big overlap between the two of us. And one of the things that uh, separate you from a lot of other musicians is your uni uniqueness. What do you want to convey to your audiences? I think that the, the Groggers is a combination of a bunch of different factors. We are very Jewish-themed uh, lyrical music with very secular-themed music. Um, and then we also have the comedy element because we, don't, we really don't take ourselves too seriously. Uh, I'm a big fan of satire and sort of that tongue-in-cheek humor. Um, okay. And I think we're, we're kind of hitting a bunch of different markets with, uh, within this one project, which is, which is very niche to begin with. And, you know, th there's so much happening in the Jewish world music-wise. Um, what are you hoping for your, your band to become? <laughs> we would really like to tap into as wide of an audience as possible. We, we wouldn't be satisfied just just captivating the Jewish audiences or just captivating the secular audiences that can appreciate us musically. We would really like to get our music out as far as possible. And this one other thing is, you know, music transcends. And you, you just touched upon trying to bring, you know, music to different types of markets, individuals. What are some things that you that, that you look for? Um, to try to tap those different types of audiences. I'm always incredibly intrigued by people that do, do things that are totally out of the box. Um, and one of the reasons that Jewish music was very appealing to me was because people are, are it's such, so, so cookie cutter. Um, so that we, with, you know, with something that, that is so cookie cutter, there's so much more opportunity to jump outside the box. So I'm always looking for new artists that, uh, that, um, that transcend that and, um, and break boundaries. And, uh, you know, there's... There's a lot of really exciting stuff happening in, in, the, uh, in the new Jewish music scene. So, yeah. As you can see, the Grogs are truly a unique Jewish band. And these days, it's important to have different types of voices in Jewish music. This is Aaron Herman, and thank you for watching.